All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So last night after the super, super long maintenance on Global, we got this absolutely massive data download. Like it was huge. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the largest data download in the history of Dokkan, 741 megabytes of data in one download like that is ridiculous man that's bigger than some full games you know so uh i'm sure you guys were thinking this and i was thinking this as well what could they have possibly added to the game in 741 megabytes and as it turns out it was basically everything at least everything up until the five year anniversary on global in July. A uh, big shout out to Dokkan Air for mining all this data. And just like in the past where we've had other, you know, huge data downloads like 400, 500 megabyte downloads, it's essentially Bandai preloading all the assets for these characters and events and all that stuff into the game in preparation for their future release and it doesn't necessarily mean that all this stuff is going to be coming out like tomorrow or this week although some of these things can probably or will be probably coming out to global within the next few weeks all right so without further ado let's check it out and on this first page here, we can see a lot of different characters. At the very top here, we have the Dokkan Awakenings for the STR hit as well as the STR Kaba. They're the two supports from the STR type banner. So they're, they'll be getting their Dokkan Awakenings probably sometime within the next like two months or so. As well as the Dokkan Awakenings for the AGL supports, the AGL Pan and the AGL Metal Rildo. And here we have the dual Dokkan Fest between the uh, Angel Goku and also the Majin Vegeta. Uh, their banners are pretty damn tempting, I'm not gonna lie. I already talked about this in a previous video, but uh, this is probably gonna be the most tempting thing for me before the five year anniversary. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped this Dual Dokkan Fest right before our five year anniversary begins, just to try to drain the remainder of your stones before we go into the super hype period, right? So. I'd recommend most people to, if you want to summon, I can't blame you, but you know, try to be conservative with your stones for sure. And here we have the free to play card for the five year anniversary, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku with his five fingers out holding the five star Dragon Ball. And uh, here's a Dokkan Awakening for, I believe, the DB Saga Mercenary Tau. Uh, here is the Dokkan Fest units, or I mean, this is the Dokkan Fest um, Android 13 and also this new trunks that comes with this banner. I'm pretty sure. And uh, we also have a couple of free-to-play androids here. We have a Saiyan Man here. Uh, of course, we have the uh, main prize right here in the middle, the LR Gogeta and the LR Vegito for the five-year anniversary. Once again, not coming out anytime soon. Right? In fact, we know when they're dropping. It should be the end of the first week of July, so about you know four months to go from now. And uh, I believe this is a Dokkan Awakening for an existing Boo. Uh, here is a Dabura, and this is a free-to-play uh, Yamu and Spopovich, and a free-to-play Saiyan Man. I think they're the free-to-play ones. Anyways, um, we also have the kid Saiyans or the baby Saiyans from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie down here from that story event. Here is the uh, summonable Bardock and Gine. Here's the free-to-play Zamasu that Dokkan Awakens into the um, STR LR. Goku Black, who also gets the Extreme Z Awakening, the first LR Extreme Z Awakening in the history of Dokkan. And uh, I don't really recognize this Vegeta. Is this the uh, is this the SSR form of the summonable Vegeta? I'm not 100% sure, my bad. But there's a Vegeta, I'm sure he is for something. And also the uh, Trunks and Mai. And also, of course, the uh, transformations for the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito into Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue. Here is the uh, Super 13 transformation for the Android 13. And at the bottom here, we have another Saiyan Man. I think um, it, it's the same asset as this Saiyan Man right here, right? So I'm not really sure what that's all about, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's just from this card. And at the uh, very end, we have, hold on, I'm blocking it. Okay, so we have a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku right here and then a Majin Vegeta. Those are the transformations for these two guys right here, the Dual Dokkan Fest. And last but not least, we have uh, this dude right here, the Spirit Bomb Absorbed um, Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, who is gonna be coming with that Double Rates banner. 
and that's actually not a terrible banner to summon on because it does feature a new really really good LR and also of course people use double rates banners to chase LRs but once again guys remember remember all right five year anniversary right around the corner we got the Gogeta blue, Vegito blue, no matter how good everything else you know on this list is, at least the summonable stuff, um, they're not better than these two, all right? They're not better than these two. Now, one thing uh, or a few things you might have noticed is that it doesn't include any of the uh, part two of the five year anniversary stuff, like the LR Rose and also the uh, LR Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo. So I guess that stuff will be added later. But uh, essentially, we got everything up until part one of the five year anniversary. So that's why the data download was so big. On top of that, we also got some assets for the Extreme Z Awakenings of uh, AGL Super Vegito, uh, Tech Zamasu, as well as the uh, Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. So three Extreme Z battles added to the game, non-translated at the moment, but ready to be released in the future. And we also have these items here. I didn't recognize them initially, but I think they're for recovering stamina. Um, I don't remember exactly when they were added to JP or if they were added to JP in the past. I don't know. I've never seen these, but apparently they're for stamina. So that's cool. And in addition to all this stuff we see here, Dokkan Air also found the stickers and also the equipment. So essentially, the equipment is those uh, skill orbs that are used to enhance your character's stats or hidden potential skills. And the stickers are essentially used to add special effects to card arts for certain units. So uh, that's pretty cool as well. I think both of those came out for part one of the five year anniversary. So they're also uh, in the global game files now ready to be released when the five year anniversary comes around. And uh, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, so that's everything. Huge shout out once again to Dokkan Air for the data and for confirming for us exactly what was added in this huge, huge data download. And uh, that's it, guys. For anybody that was curious, there's your, there's your answer. And get ready for all this stuff to come out either before the five-year anniversary or during the five-year anniversary. Basically, anything you see here that is not... Um, from the five years, so like the blue Gogeta, blue Vegito, and also these guys, of course, and the Trunks and Mai, and the Bardock and Gine, as well as these uh, Baby Saiyans and the Zamasu. Everything else should be coming out before the five year anniversary, right? So these Dokkan Awakenings right here for the supports, and of course, of course the Dual Dokkan Fest, the Android 13, and so on and so forth. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. And before you go, let me know in the comments down below which of these things we just talked about are you the most excited for? I guess aside from the dual five-year LRs, the Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegito, because I feel like that's going to be most people's answers. So before the five-year anniversary, what are you the most excited, most hyped for on Global? All right, for me personally, it's got to be not a summonable unit because i feel like most of these guys are pretty easy skips aside from the dual dokkan fest here but even then like i'm not that crazy about the goku and vegeta but for me personally man the most exciting thing to come out before the five-year anniversary has got to be the agl super vegeto extreme z awakening mainly because i want to run the two eza vegetos on the same team you know the um, Fizz Vegito Blue that we just got on Global and with the AGL Super Vegito that's gonna be a pretty freaking deadly combination with like counters going everywhere um, it'll be a lot of fun so that is my choice let me know in the comments down below who you're most hyped for and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.